Welcome to Bachelor Chef, a show about cooking, love, and the culinary arts. I think I have a good shot of connecting with him tonight. I'm gonna be making a really special dish, and he's a really special man. I think we're just meant to be. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to show my love through my cooking, and I'm sure I'll win him over. Krisha, Lewis, this week's theme is love. You're gonna have 15 minutes to make a dish you would make for a loved one. Your time starts now. <sighs> Krisha, what are you making? Um, here I have a beautiful tray of ramen noodles with some chicken flavoring on top. And I'm right now drizzling some gogurt. And I'm gonna be topping off with a root beer popsicle. Lewis. Lewis, yes? What are you making? I am making a, a stack of pancakes for you. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it extra special for you, just for you. Um, I might add a side of a drink. I'm not sure at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be good. Can you move? My fault. Yeah. So, how's it going? Yeah. I'm making you something. I think you like it. Here's a snack. Okay, okay, um, so what do you like eating? Food? Yeah, one of these. Okay. Yeah? Stay right there. You have five minutes. Hands up. Okay. Krisha, what have you prepared for me today? So today I prepared for you a three course meal. So for starters, we have our homemade cookies that were not bought at all. They're made straight from, straight from the kitchen. Um, then your next dish would be the oatmeal made with cinnamon and some love. And your final dish, which is dessert, is a ramen chicken hard heart. And it has some gogurt on top with a root beer popsicle to top it off and some cinnamon. And of course, we also have more juice. Let's dig in. Thank you, Chef. That's amazing. Thank you. Never had anything like this before. Wow, it's because it's homemade. But it's funny, Chef. Nothing. Just how good it is. It's absurd. I know, it's yeah. Thank you. Oh, take a big bite of it, trust me. Why is it warm? It's oatmeal. Okay. It's love. That's actually really good. This is really impressive, Chef. Oh, you want to take a bite of the next meal now? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you just leave it on. Leave okay. it on. You eat, you get a big bite of it. Bigger bite, come on. You yeah. have to try a little bit of no, everything. It's too good to take a bigger bite. <laughs> it's so sweet, Chef. <laughs> this overall was really amazing. Thank you, Chef. So I made you two buttermilk pancakes with a side of orange juice. Hope you enjoy. I know you will. Let me see. I like the acidity. The overall, that was disgusting. It was atrocious. You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know why you're feeding, feeding me this right now. I'm sorry, sir. Grisha, Lewis, both of you made a dish tonight, and both of you, both of you cooked it. Um, but but fortunately, only one of you can be the winner of tonight's show. Only one of you can get the um, 
the spoon and the flowers, okay? The spoon symbolizes cooking and the flower symbolizes love. And it goes to Krisha. <gasps> what, what do you we mean? We all saw it coming. I that, put my heart and soul into If that, if your dish symbolized love, who'd you make it for? Cause you know, really I made that, that for you. I love you and only you. I put my soul into that. And what did you do? You threw it away. You know what? You did something. I know you did. What did I do? You put something in there that made it bad. I know what I did. Or you just did that all on your own. No, you did that. No, you did that yourself. Don't touch me because I swear to God, I'm. We're gonna. We're, we're gonna do this. Gonna... Are we gonna okay. do? All right. Yeah, let's all right. Let's go. I don't get paid enough to care about any of this. Cheerleaders have always been known as the people who do the chants and stunts on the sidelines, and the people whose job it is to make sure the crowd is always pumped up during the game. But what goes into learning these cheers and being able to throw multiple girls up in the air at a time? This is Behind the Scenes of Cheer. Coach Blank and I have been at Brookwood for many years and these lovely young ladies right here are the reason that I keep coming back. Well I've been cheering probably as long as some of these have young ladies have been cheering since I was real little. I've gone all the way up through high school and through college and when I started to teach it was kind of a natural progression and I've I wanted to stay young <laughs> and so I continue to coach. It's because I love these people and they drive me crazy. cheerleaders and I was a cheerleader in high school so it really means a lot to me to be here with these girls and they were some of my favorite memories from high school and so I'm really excited to be a part of some of theirs. for 12 years. I've been cheering for 11. I've been cheering for 13. And one thing I like about cheering for Brookwood High School is I like bringing leadership to the team and just keeping our boys motivated. Yes. I love getting the crowd involved and I love the feel of Friday nights. I love the positivity and the food. on the football varsity cheerleading team. I've been cheering for 11 years, and to me, cheering's all, honestly, it's all that I've ever done. I'm just so used to it, and no matter what, I can honestly never see my life without it anymore. Hi, my name is Grace Conley. 
I am in ninth grade. This is my first year cheering here and like for Brookwood in general. And I'm just so excited because Brookwood's just so amazing. <laughs> like look at it. BHF. Let's go Broncos. Hey, Colin, I got this, uh, I got this new chess set. Uh, get, do you want to play? Are you challenging me, mortal? Uh, yeah? I accept your challenge. He's taking my piece. I'm at a disadvantage. If he moves his queen, then he can take my knight. But if he takes my knight, then I can use my bishop to take his queen. But if I use my bishop to take his queen, then he can use one of his rooks to take my bishop. But then I can castle up and protect my king. But then! Are you, are you gonna go? <laughs> I win. You have fallen for my trap. After this next piece is moved, you will be in check. I will deal the next devastating blow to you. And afterwards, you will never be able to look at a chess set again. Check. Check, mate. Because I wouldn't be able to re-record my albums if it weren't for you. And I had I had sort of made up my mind that if you were gonna be this generous huh? and give us this I thought it might be a fun moment to tell you. No. Uh, huh? What? 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 
What? Oh my god. So oh my god. Midnight. 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 Midnight